All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a video that I am really excited to make. And honestly, this is one of the perfect times to do a video like this. Best red dots under $100, regardless if it's a handgun, rifle, AR-15, or similar platform. There are so many great options because technology keeps improving and a ton of optics are finally back in stock and they're on sale. For a lot of these optics, I have specific codes for my viewers to save yourself even more money. And if you follow the channel, you'll know I love high value and budget optics that actually work. So this is a perfect fit. We're also going to be talking about some brand new release optics as well as way to save money. If you like any of these optics at the end of the video, you can check the links in the description below. Uh, most of these I'll be able to link right in the description because of Amazon or other companies that are YouTube safe. And a lot of these are affiliate links, so it's going to take you right to this deal at no extra cost to you, but it will help out the channel. I've also included a lot of very viewer-specific 704 codes that you'll want to check the description below to save yourself some money on a lot of these optics. So let's dig in right here, starting from the cheapest optics, working up to the most expensive optics on both the handguns and the rifles under a hundred dollars. And the first one I want to talk about, and the cheapest red dot that I'm recommending right now. Uh, in this setup is going to be one of the Pinties. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know I've done $25 and $30 red dots in the past, and those work really well a lot of times. Um, so you'll have to check out some of those older videos. But right now, I'm actually going to recommend you spend just a touch more because the Pinty Pro is on sale right now, and I feel like the value for money is right here. It's only about 6 or $7 more than some of those cheaper optics that I've reviewed in the past. And honestly, it could be the same price after some of the deals I talk about. So the Pinty Pro is a push-button design, and it's got a lot of cool technology right out of the box. Like the fact that it's got protected turrets, flip-up lens covers, again, a top push-button design that's rather protected with this lip right here. Ultra clear glass. This has some of the clearest glass I've seen on an incredibly budget red dot, but the dot gets insanely bright. It's crystal clear, and the emitter stays buried out of the way. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys the glass much on a lot of these because they're all mounted up, but you can see right there, there how clear the glass is. And overall, this is an insanely nice optic. Back in the day, I'd say three or four years ago when I first started reviewing budget red dots, something like this would have been a $100 optic all day long, but Pinty's going to sell them for $50. They're on sale right now on Amazon for $39.99, so that's going to be uh, $10 off what they used to be selling for. Then they have a clickable code on the link itself, at least at the time of filming this video, for an extra 5% off. So you're going to get this sub $40 with free prime shipping, and a lot of those other optics I reviewed in the past, like the $20, $30 ones, have actually increased in price. Price. So this one has come down a little bit, and I feel like this is a solid design. It also comes with two mounts in the box. A high-profile lower one-third co-witness mount for iron sights for AR-15 or similar platform, or a low-profile mount for like a 9mm PCC Scorpion or something like this Winchester or a 22 long rifle Ruger. This is an absolutely versatile and amazing optic for under $40. You could not go wrong with this, but if you want to little, spend a little bit more, let's talk about some different options that Monstrum Tactical released. If you follow the channel, you'll know I recently did a review on their brand new Ghost series of Red Dots. Now, the Ghost series of Red Dots are pretty cool because they're going to be directly interfaceable with the brand new flip to side magnifiers. They come with an offset mount in the box, and this thing absolutely survived the water bottle test. Uh, so did the Pinty, by the way. And I've got independent reviews on most of these optics on the channel, so you can definitely check them out if you want some more information. The cool thing about the Monstrum Tactical is using the same LED technology or the diode technology as some of the more premium brands, but this is a turn knob style optic, hearkening back to the days of simple, easy to use optics, up to a 50,000 hour battery life, great waterproof rating, insanely durable design, and this thing gets so, so bright with ultra clear glass and the emitter stays buried out of the way. It feels a little bit more robust um, than some of those other cheaper optics. It feels definitely more robust uh, than the Pinty when it comes to uh, structure and build, but then you are gonna be spending a little bit more money. These come out to about 70 bucks, but I've got the code GHOST704. Again, I'll link that in the description below that drops it down to about 57 bucks. But man, is this a nice optic for $57. I mean, this is absolutely bomb proof. It's solid, but it has that turn knob style design. Some people really like the turn knob. Some people really like the push button. It just really depends on what you like. Honestly, as long as it's got a really long battery life, I like this. 
One thing to note though, both the Monstrum and the Pinty do not have the auto on and auto off feature. They simply just stay on if you leave them on. I think the Pinty might have an auto off after a certain period of time, but I do like the Monstrum Tactical because you can actually turn it to whatever setting you want, like a three or four, or get an insanely long battery life, and that setting is perfect for personal or home defense, so you can just leave the optic always on. So when you pick it up, you don't have to fumble with buttons or turn a knob. It's really simple to go. I've also found in a stressful scenario or a gloved hand scenario in the cold, it's much easier to operate this than to push small buttons. So a lot of times I like my push button optics to be something with larger buttons, exposed buttons, but then that leads them to be bumped. But having a turn knob style is super easy. Reach up, grab, turn, and just start blasting away. Um, I really like both of the optics though, and this really kind of high value and budget, uh, just amazing category of under 60 bucks. So definitely check out both of those. Now, moving along, we're gonna start climbing up in price, but we are gonna be really jumping up in feature set. And a lot of these optics that I wanna discuss right now are from Sealy, the T3 and the T10. They also have the G10 in green, but I personally like the red dots better. Um, the, the green dots have a slight pulsing to them for uh, battery saving technology, so I'd recommend both of the reds. Now the T3, really blew me away when it came out. It's actually one of Sealy's um, more newer releases, but it's one of their more affordable releases. So it's a push button design located on the side, up to a 50,000 hour battery life. And this thing also has incredibly clear glass. Let's again, try to show you guys on camera the glass on this one. The emitter stays buried out of the way and this gets really bright. Now it's not the brightest of the bunch uh, because it doesn't use a ton of anti-reflective coating to keep the glass ultra clear, but this is plenty, plenty bright enough for a bright sunny day. But some of the other optics like the Monstrum Tactical Ghost, <laughs> it gets insanely bright. So you'll never have a situation where that'll wash out. I doubt you'll have a, you'll have a situation where the T3 washes out unless maybe like sun is reflecting off snow directly into your optic, uh, maybe, but this gets darn bright. It's got an auto on and auto off, a shake awake technology feature, which is perfect for a personal defense or home defense optic. The minute you pick it up, you don't have to fumble with buttons in a stressful scenario. It automatically turns on and fires. This is the absolute cheapest auto on and auto off red dot I've ever reviewed that actually works. There's been some other ones, but they're junk. I'm not gonna talk about them. The T3, works it's solid it's reliable i mean this guys is really mimicking some other premium red dots out there but this generally sold for about 78 dollars it's on sale for 68 then i've got a code uh well it's on sale for prime members at 68 dollars then i've got a code that's going to drop even more money off of it about 10 percent. i'll link that in the description below that sealy specifically generated for my viewers which drops the price down to $61.55 with free prime shipping. That is an insane deal on an auto on and auto off red dot. This is just freaking amazing. If you were looking for an auto on and auto off red dot, but you didn't have any more than like 50 bucks to spend, I'd bump it up and grab this because I don't think you're going to find it any cheaper for a very long time. Again, they've already knocked it on sale and then did a code that stacks on top of that sale. So Sealy is an awesome company when it comes to that. They also have the Sealy T10, which looks like another very similar optic on the market right now, a more premium optic, but guys, this one packs a ton of features in. So it's got the same 50,000 hour battery life, auto on and auto off. Both of the Sealy's are waterproof, protected turrets. This one has clear glass and the emitter stays bared out of the way, but it does have a slight bluish hue to it compared to the other Sealy. But because of that slight bluish hue, it's got more anti-reflective coating on the front that causes that, that allows the dot to be a little bit brighter. I believe they're using the same diode technology, but more anti-reflective uh, coating on the front. So this one gets a little bit brighter. So if brightness was your concern, you're always shooting in the desert, it'd be worth spending a little extra money on this. These generally sell for 85 bucks, but Prime members can get them on sale for 7650 Occasionally have codes. I think right now my code expired, but you'll definitely want to keep up with the channel and check the description. Maybe we'll get another code for this in the future. Um, but right now, guys, these were selling out fast, just like the other ones. Transitioning over to pistol red dots or handgun red dots, there's going to be two main cuts that I want to discuss. The RMR style cut, and every company calls it a little bit different, but Palmetto State Armory released the dagger and a ton of people are asking me about those. Unfortunately, I do not have a good auto on and auto off um, 
RMR style red dot under 100 bucks. I just don't have it. And I always recommend an auto on and auto off red dot on a handgun if you're going to be using it in any way, shape, or form for personal defense because you definitely don't want to be fumbling with micro style buttons when you're drawing a handgun to save your life. So Sealy makes one for the doctor cut, which is the second main cut. And PSA daggers are also going to be cut with the doctor cut for the Vortex Venom. Now, PSA daggers have a wide variety of slides on their website that I highly recommend you check out. But a ton of other gun companies use the doctor cut. And I would recommend the Sealy calf. Now, unfortunately, it's currently out of stock. But I do want to document this in the video because when it comes back in stock, it sells out fast. So I would definitely check the links in the description below. It may be there. It probably isn't, though, at the time of posting this video. These generally sell for about 85 bucks, but they're auto on and auto off. And this is absolutely competing with $200 optics. No doubt in my mind. It's robust. It's worked every time. The motion sense, the auto off works perfectly. It gets insanely bright, but dim enough to work with a lot of digital night vision I've used in the past. This thing is rock solid, built like a tank, and the battery compartment is located on the side, so you can swap out the battery without dismounting the optic. This is absolutely awesome, 85 bucks, but unfortunately, I don't think it's in stock right now, but I did want to document it in this video series because who knows when you're going to be watching it. Now, for those micro 9mm carries, they use a micro footprint, and a lot of companies are shy about saying exactly what it is, but most of them, like the Taurus Toros, uh, the Hellcats, the Sig P365 XLs, are all using that same footprint. Um, so this is actually the Riton 3 Tactics MPRD2 3 MOA Red Dot. It automatically turns on, automatically turns off, and it auto adjusts for brightness. So the only complaint I've heard about this, if you get in a really dusk room and you're not using a weapons light or the ambient light is really um, kind of dark, it'll get really dim. But I found that it works for me in most situations. Like I've never had a situation where this doesn't work for me. Um, now, if you are in a pitch black room, it's going to get very, very dim, but I've still barely made it out. But I noticed, though, when you turn on a weapons light, it picks that up and then auto adjusts the brightness accordingly. So overall, I feel like, guys, this has been a great optic in a wide variety of situations, especially for like personal defense, concealed carry, and Borelli actually has them on sale for $99.99, so just shy of $100, bucks. and Borelli has free shipping on everything on their websites. It's the cheapest I've seen this. The MSRP on this guy is $349. It is truly competing with some premium micro-concealed carry optics. Like, there's nothing else that comes close to this, in my opinion, for the feature set, the reliability, their durability, as well as the auto-on and auto-off nature of the optic. It also has a cut in the back, so if the optic does go down, you can actually still pick up that front uh, night sight on the SIG P365XL. So this works out incredibly well. And again, Borelli has this on sale. All the information for that will be in the description below. So guys, definitely check out a lot of these optics. I feel like people are always um, commenting, oh, you think it's just as good, just as good as an aim point. Well, no, I, I don't think a lot of these are just as good as an $800 red dot, but they're darn good for what I use. And honestly, I trust a lot of these for personal defense. A lot of these guys, I put actual large round counts through. I don't just use them once for a review. You can see they're all on their original firearms that I mounted them to, and I continue to shoot them down at the range to give you guys updates. And all of these have performed over the long term. If you're seeing the red dots in this particular video, it means I stand behind them 100%, and they've worked out incredibly well throughout my testing with the initial reviews and the long-term testing. And these are going to be great options. Now, of course, there are other options that I review on my channel that I think are better, but these are some amazing options for under $100 that actually work. Just remember which ones have the auto on, the auto off, and definitely check out the full videos if you want some more information. All of that will be on my channel. Again, a huge shout out to a lot of these companies. I don't have the time to thank them all, but a lot of these guys send over new optics when they get them, and I put them through the ringer, and I don't pull any punches. So again, just thanks for all my viewers too to just tune into the channel and continue to watch my reviews. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.